you know, given that most of the devices, frankly, look a little bit silly, most of us are not going around with, you know, forehead bands. I saw that as a significant limiting factor and how likely it was to go mainstream. But as I tracked it over time, you know, the miniaturization of electrodes, more universal placement at home, better integration with software that can test the fit, how good the responsiveness is. All of those advances, but especially the extraordinary advances in AI on training data and the ability to filter out noise and the combination of all of those things. But then once people in neurotech started to recognize, okay, if we're wearing heart rate sensors, movement and motion trackers and GPS trackers, and those are embedded into our multifunctional devices, why not embed brain sensors? That's the moment to me that it was like, okay, everything has gotten better in the ability to pick up brain activity and to decode it. But once you figure out the form factor, that's the deciding factor about what makes it go mainstream.